What's up YouTube? I am back with another Hack Love Pickups video. This time we got some really cool collections to go over um, and I have to split it up into two videos again this week so uh, because there's so many freaking hats to go over. So yeah and uh, let's get right into it guys. Don't want to waste any of y'all's time. Let's start with the rotations program and the pink bottoms uh, part of it. Uh, brand new thing by Hack Club obviously to allow these really popular collections such as I heard the black domes and white domes will be on there as well. But uh, just uh, allowing people to have them more accessible with high stock and just classics and stuff like that just to be able to get. And I appreciate that they've done this. Uh, there's some ones that, you know, I can get retro on fields, but sometimes I want some like side patches to collect, right? So um, I like that they did this and stuff and uh, we'll be able to see some cool things in the future. And this one, I got one hat from Wave 1, uh, which was uh, really cool, probably the best one. And some of them sold out and stuff, but some of them are still on the site, which is pretty good after a couple weeks. So I got one that uh, I've really wanted for a long time. And this is the Florida Marlins. They're teal. They're pretty much teal upper. I think they use this in the 90s, I think. Um, it is most notably known for my favorite shoe. I don't know if you can see it up there. Obviously, the South Beach LeBron 8s. And I'll have the picture up when LeBron wore this hat. Uh, when at the premiere of the um, his first press conference when he was wearing the South Beaches and stuff. Um, and I always wanted this. And uh, they don't really drop it too much. I want it with like a side patch. And uh, my, my favorite UV is pink. So I was like, I was like, wow, this is awesome. I, gotta, I definitely got to get this. And I did get it. So i uh, really happy to have this one. So let me break down the hat for y'all. Uh, you got pretty much a black button, obviously. And uh, they used to wear this, obviously. So it's all team related. And you got... The Florida Marlin logo, obviously, uh, that is obviously with the fish in the back. Got some blue, black, and white in there. Super nice. You got the black top of the brim, so it is a two-tone. And then you got the tonal new era flag, and obviously that teal, of course. And then you got the 10th anniversary Florida Marlins patch. You got some glitter in there. Uh, you got orange actually in there as well, and then some teal and, uh, and silver. So really dope as well. I didn't notice there was actually orange in there, but uh, I really like that. Then you got the Batterman. It's flat uh, with blue and red. And that's a theme apparently throughout the entire rotations. Uh, pink bottoms, he said. Um, I think he said because something to do with the materials and stuff, polyester. Um, so as you can see, so just uh, very simple. I don't know if there's going to be raised ones, but that's what they at least use there. Um, you got uh, white guts. And then you got a pink UV, of course. And then you got Cooper's Down Collection. 100% polyester made in Bangladesh and 7 3 fourths is my size. So as you can see, it goes really well with the pink. I think the pink with that teal uh, pops like crazy. So yeah, uh, let me show you all the fit. Here's the fit. Not going to lie, it's a bit tight on the tighter side. Uh, it is comfortable though. I did wear it the other night um, and it uh, looks super dope obviously. Uh, really happy to have it obviously. It's not a custom really, but uh, it is really nice that pink UV. Backwards is really nice. Would love. I'm gonna wear this with the South Beach someday. That's for sure. Uh, maybe in Miami next time I go down the South Beach, uh, I would definitely like to do that. So um, really, really cool collection. Uh, I actually have two more hats from their second and third wave that are on uh, incoming. Actually, third wave was yesterday, which is today's Monday. So um, uh, and yeah, let's get into the next one. All right, so the next collection uh, was done on the day of the NBA draft, and everybody's wondering, I remember, oh, was Ben talking about the crossovers? No, it wasn't. Uh, it's pretty much, they brought back the Interstellar Jelly Collection, which is inspired by Space Jam. They dropped that last year during the summer, and instead they did an NBA edition, so I picked up the Los Angeles Lakers one. A lot of these are sitting on the side still. Uh, some sizes are gone, but a lot of these are still sitting, so these are really fire. Two of them had side pads. This is one of them that had it. Um, I was hoping for my wraps to have one, but we didn't get one. But nonetheless, it is pretty much the same colorway from back then. It's just an NBA hat. So you got pretty much that entire like dark blue upper that they used. Um, and then you got the Los Angeles Lakers regular logo. You got kind of like that very like fuchsia red. And you got some of that teal blue in there as well. And then you got a little bit of like a little bit of like a purple outline as well, which is really dope with the basketball in the back. Uh, and then you got a tonal new era flag, of course. Simple. Then you got this side patch, which is interesting. It's almost like the Hollywood Walk of Fame. You got the star and that teal outline as well. Purple in the fill with some red. Uh, really cool. I thought that was really dope uh, over the Warriors one that had other, that had a side patch as well. And uh, no no Batterman or like nothing in the back. Like it's kind of weird to me. I don't know why they didn't put the NBA logo there. But uh, there is nothing in the back. It's kind of strange. Uh, then you got that pretty much white guts. You got that like tealish UV. You got the NBA logo here, New Era. 100% polyester made in China and 7 and 3 fours. So, as you can see, it goes really nice. Uh, a lot of white guts here. And yeah, let's try the fit. 
All right, here they are. Another tightish fit again. Uh, it is really nice. I do like how it came out. I see the colors go really well. Really like it. Uh, it goes really dope. Just reminds me of I had the Mets one uh, from the original collection. It's really dope as well. Side patches are pretty cool. And no Batterman. I, I don't mind nothing in the back, honestly. I have some baseball hats that are like that. And kind of cool. And people think, oh, is that knockoff? No, it's not. I mean, that's how it was played, obviously, uh, baseball back then. They didn't have Batterman's up until, I think, like the 80s or something like that. So, yeah, something to note. All right, last up is one of the biggest collections that they've done that is brand new in a while. And uh, that is the Orange Crush collection. I did pick up one that was uh, my favorite from the collection. It was pretty dope. But it did come with a pin, special pin. Uh, there was two different types. The other one was a samurai one, and I got... The, uh, the orange one, uh, like the, um, sorry, I got the, like, rock, they call it, like, Rocky Balboa one type one or something, orange Balboa, I'm not sure, uh, but it's got pretty much uh, this juice box guy, and you got, like, his, like, boxing gloves and boxing boots or whatever, he's got kind of, like, almost like a black eye a little bit, uh, it's kind of oranges coming down, it's pretty cool, almost reminds me of Spongebob in a way, uh, it is really cool, I like that pin, very neat, uh, that's the one I scored, I was lucky enough, and the backdrop is pretty cool, too, you got pretty much orange crush, it's kind of the boxers and stuff, which is pretty cool um, and stuff. So I like that. Really, uh, really cool touches, by the way. But the hat I got, Milwaukee Brewers. I've been looking for this logo for a while. Uh, this uh, kind of reminds me of Miller Genuine Draft and, you know, Miller Light and all that. So obviously I was involved in the beer pack too. But um, it is one I've been looking for for a while with the 2002 All-Star Game. Uh, they did it here, and I was like, damn. And orange is my favorite color, so I fucking love it. And I love the little indigo hints and stuff. And they did This was a really cool collection. And uh, they didn't sell it too quickly. This one did, but uh, it was easy cop, um, really, if you were ready right away. So, But anyways, it is a two-tone, of course. So you got pretty much this kind of navy button, and then you got obviously like a citrusy orange um, top of the uh, where the crown is, and then you got top of the brim, which is navy. Then you got the Milwaukee Brewers M logo. I think this is from the 2000s. You got white in there, indigo outline, and you got some navy in there uh, as well. Uh, that indigo part is just freaking amazing. I love it. It uh, goes so well. Um, just uh, really, really good color work. You got a Tonal New Era logo, uh, of course, like usual. You got the 2002 All-Star Game logo. Uh, you kind of see at the back of Miller Park there, which is really cool. You got Indigo Outline. You got some dark navy in there. You got some almost silver. I don't think it's white. And obviously that orange and stuff. So uh, you got Brewers All-Star Game in there too. So that one is just really cool. And then you got the Batterman is in white, Indigo, and navy. Just flat, so nice. Like they don't really use that indigo blue very often, so I like that. They gotta do like a hat or something like that collection off that. And you got black guts, gray UV. Uh, you got Cooper's Down collection, 100% polyester and made in China. So uh, yeah, and uh, here you go, super dope. I love the black guts. Not gonna get too dirty. And with that, uh, let me show you how the fit. All right, again, a little bit on the tighter side. All the hats today are a little bit on the tighter side, not too, but not even a good fit though. It does not hurt in my head or anything. It's just I think I would stretch just a touch to make it even more comfortable. But it is really dope. This hat pops, uh, two tone, uh, crazy two tone in my opinion. I think they did great, and this hat is one of the nicest ones from, especially with my black shirt on right now. Really shows uh, a lot. And the back side, of course, looks really cool too. Orange being my favorite color, like I said, this was a must cop for me, and they don't do too many orange collections, so. I really appreciate this one. So, yeah, this one's an awesome collection, guys. Uh, I loved it. And even especially, like, obviously, or it's kind of inspired by probably Orange Crush to drink and stuff. And I haven't drank that, honestly, since, like, elementary school, which is kind of crazy. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think they did a pretty good... I don't remember Indigo being on the can. I don't know. I'll have it up here if you're interested. I, just so I can see myself, too. But kind of uh, interesting color combo, obviously, up for, for a soda, which is uh, interesting. So, But, anyways, guys, that's it today for Hat Club Pickups. Uh... The one I did, obviously, we got, obviously, that OG Pinkies, and then you have pretty much the NBA Interstellar Jelly, and then, obviously, Orange Crush. Let me know if you went for any of those drops that week. Uh, were you interested in any of them? Did you take an L? Just let me know what you got. What would you rate my pickups down below as well? And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell down below as well. You will be notified. I have one more coming up this week. I do sneaker content as well. And I do actually a ton of reactions and stuff, and that's why people watch, have been watching me the most, so... Uh, if you're interested in that sort of stuff, uh, that is on the channel as well, so if you're interested. So. But anyways, guys, I appreciate you all for tuning in to my Hack Club Pickups video that included the NBA edition of the Interstellar Jelly Collection, uh, the OG Pinkies Rotations, and the Orange Crush Collection. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.